Hello TikTok and welcome to Anti-Santas part three. Uh, so for those of you following along, I have no idea if Santa watched my Frau Perchta episode for the last one, but he definitely stayed out of my comment section this time. So without further ado, let's move on. We're going to cover Grela today. So Grela is a figure from Icelandic folklore and she's first mentioned like way back in the 13th century, okay? She is described as a giantess or an ogre and uh Grela's modus operandi is that she would go into town acting like a beggar but she would not ask for money she would ask parents for their misbehaving children and if their parents gave them <laughs> their terrible children she would take them out back to her cave home and cook them in a stew so Grela is in fact eating misbehaving children but the crazy thing about Grela is not just like her and herself. It she comes with like all this stuff, okay? So she has this giant pet cat. We're going to call it a Yule cat because it has this really complicated Icelandic name which I cannot pronounce. You can google it if you want to know how to say it. But it's this giant cat and he goes into town and he somehow knows if people haven't either bought or made new clothes for Christmas and that's a big faux pas for him and so he will eat them if you have not made yourself a new pair of socks. In addition to the Yule cat, Grela also comes with the Yule lads. Now, in some folklore, it describes them as her children. In some folklore, it describes them as her brothers. But they come the 13 days before Christmas and wreak absolute havoc on your house. All of their names match their crimes. So they have names like door slammer, pot licker, you know, uh, window peeper, things like that. And they just do these terrible things the 13 days leading up to Christmas if they judge your behavior to be bad. Now, if they judge your behavior to be good, they might leave you a small present or a silver coin either in your shoe or on your windowsill. But like I said, if you're bad, they're going to do all these things to you that they're named after and they might leave a rotten potato in your shoe. So yeah, when Grayla comes to town, you're either going to have your door slammed, your pots licked, a potato in your shoe. She might eat you. She might stick her cat on you for not having brand new clothes for Christmas. Like I said, Cole sounds pretty good right now, doesn't it? Anyways, Grayla is another figure from current pop culture because she was actually featured in a Sabrina the Teenage Witch episode, if anybody watches that TV show. Um, she's featured a little bit different than the traditional um, kind of folklore that she's based around, but I think they did a pretty good job of it. I actually liked that episode. All right, I got one more coming, so like and follow for more, because next time we're definitely going to be covering Krampus.